All righty, it's now or never. Episode 423 and 424 of our One Piece watch of today. We are here in Impel Down, the deep sea prison. A place that is pretty intense from what we've seen so far. I mean, they're literally dunking people. And was it lava or was it just like, like 200 degree water? That's basically lava. And apparently Buggy's just running around somewhere loose. But Luffy and Boa might get found out here shortly because they're about to do a full body check. There's cameras and everything. So that's why I say it is now or never. Drop a fat like on this one. Let's hop into them. I mean, I wouldn't say deep sea. It's under the sea. I mean, it looks like it goes kind of far down. And there's no way around this at all. I mean, I guess the security guard guards on the camera are kind of distracted. I don't think she's going to waver, though. She seems pretty about her job. She's not enticed by Boa. Wait. Oh, she, oh! oh, shoot. Wait. She froze the camera. Okay, what's her excuse for this going to be, though? Yeah, but they're still going to want a, an answer. Yeah, not just people. Oh, she's going to be so sad to leave him. Mm -hmm. This is where we part, my love. I love her snake's little skull hat thing. <laughs> she's like, you're going to get stuck here. What are they doing with those? Oh, she's just gonna bust, bro. <laughs> Aww. He has no idea what he's doing to her right now. Oh, he finally got her name right. She's like, he's in love with me too. <laughs> the like anime MC style Luffy, bro. <laughs> I love Boa, dude. I'll be fine. Where is he going? The ceiling? That's so cute, man. God, that guy looks so bizarre. He's just thinking about it. Yeah. What? Oh, oh no. Oh, wait, they don't remember anything once they're reverted, right? He's like, yes, two birds, one stone. Yeah, she's, she's not going to remember anything. Oh, nice. Oh, wow. That was a lot simpler than I thought it would be. <laughs> These guys are so dumb. Oh, wow. That went way smoother than I expected it to be. Luffy! Why now? Oh, oh, I guess he had to get out of the room. Yeah. It's not a very secure prison to have, like, open ceilings like this, uh, in my uh, personal opinion, but who asked? The burning heat for... Warden Magellan. Magellan? Please tell... <laughs> He needs to stop. Bro is just trolling. Aww. <laughs> Dude, it takes nothing from him. He basically just said, I love you. Oh, no. That's what she thought. Oh, no. The accidental Riz. Holy, it's too powerful. God. Is I love you similar to thank you in Japanese? I, I I guess from the mouth like movement, it might be. It's a similar like uh, length of a phrase. Ace is far down, but like, I, I guess like I said, we don't know how deep the prison goes. The Sea King? What? What's going on here? Oh damn, are they like hunters? Oh, they go catch Sea Kings for food, I'm guessing, for like the prisoners and guards. He's like shaking like a dog. Oh, that is so creepy. I cannot believe she completely passed out from that. Actually, no, I, I can. Oh, damn. You can't be serious. So it's like, it's like Dante's Inferno. The further down you go, the higher the sentence. Crimson. Dude, does everybody... It's a secret why it's called Crimson? Wild beasts from hell? It's just a starvation for. Oh, lovely. Awesome. <laughs> just throwing them into a giant burning pot? The pleasant screams of prisoners. So is it only the very bottom four that have to do the 200 degree, like, burning? We have more... Oh, more than four levels. He's gonna be like, yeah, Ace is on level 62. Oh, man, where are the guards, dude? This makes me so nervous. Oh, man, that that showed that because Luffy's got a way to go. He just said Ace is lower. <laughs> Who is this? Sounds like a Jigga Chad. <laughs> That's buggy? Wait, his hair is so glorious. Oh, my gosh. 
How did he? Did he just cut himself? No, because they have handcuffs. He wouldn't be able to use his power. Oh my gosh, he's back, baby. I miss this dude. This, this goddamn clown. Ah, dude, Luby and him are gonna run into each other one million percent. I mean, Luby's going down. He's going up. I'm guessing there's literally only one way up and down too to increase security. How did he get out though? Man, that's pretty impressive. G. G. <laughs> Come on, buggy. Use that giganto brain. Oh, he. Oh. Just. What did he think was going to change? Still the same old buggy. Still the same old buggy, man. Ah, oh, brings back memories. Okay, so he doesn't have his handcuffs on anymore. Is it just like prison? No, yeah, all the prisoners on this level have them. He had to have gotten them off somehow. Oh, gosh. The bluegory! God dang, dude. They're kind of intimidating. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's gonna be you're gonna have to take the elevator or something. 82 Hundo! Oh, like so if you if you don't have a double fruit, you don't need the handcuffs? Or do you just get regular handcuffs, I guess? How do they even check people? Like, do they just trust them? Level one. I said it was called Crimson for it, but it's like a secret why they call it the Crimson Floor. A scream? <laughs> God, this place looks huge. It really is the same old buggy, man. Oh my God, he hears it. <laughs> oh my gosh, they're so close to each other. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Wait, is that a button? King. No way does he push that! Oh. Oh. Yeah, okay. God dang Elden Ring Dark Souls hallway. He's pushing them all on accident. Or maybe he's just pushing them now, trying to like make distractions for the, the bluegery. Dude, I want them to run into each other so bad, man. Okay, those two guards are definitely dead. Does Luffy think they just turned around? They got bored? He's like, bro, I'm not in here. I honestly was hoping they'd be like, that's that Straw Hat Luffy. That, that's Mugiwara. You don't have to explain yourself, Luffy. Just keep going. Like, uh, please. They're gonna say like floor 100 or something, man. Oh, level five. Oh, okay. They said there was more than four. So is there just one more than four? Hundreds of millions. Oh, shoot. There's crocodile. I don't know who the other two were. Dude, I hope he runs in the crocodile too. I mean, honestly, him freeing them could create a big distraction and make it easier on himself. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh, it is bluegery, not blue. What did I say? Lugaroy? Oh! Oh, wait, no, it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> they don't even realize it. They don't even uh, understand each other. I don't think Buggy. Yeah. Don't mess with the Chop Chop Word Eater. Dude, such memories. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Ah, good times, man. What was it, episode like seven? Holy. Been hunting him ever, ever since. Oh, it's just Buggy. <laughs> <laughs> Heard I was, he's gonna say you came for me. <sighs> That's gross. I love Luffy and Buggy together, man. Especially because it seems like he's the exact same Buggy, but Luffy's this new Luffy. I mean, at least in terms of power, I don't know how much stronger Buggy's gotten since we last saw him. Luffy's generally the same personality-wise. Buggy's P- Buggy's P-E-P. -E <laughs> His screams, bro. You're on level one, Buggy. It can't be as bad as other levels. It was probably still bad. Oh, wait, they were torturing him and they didn't know he had the fruit, so he couldn't have been that bad. I don't think it hurts for him to be cut. What? Stay positive in a bad sense. Yeah, what a terrible trait for him and Shanks to have. Yeah, because Buggy and Shanks were close, right? They were the they were both on, on Whitebeard's ship for a bit. Look at them fight together. Hell yeah, baby. Oh my god. Who would have ever thought? 
the bugsters back. All right, well, we're getting right into it. No, I mean, peaceful way, really. I mean, they're they're fighting these guards. Everybody's gonna find out now. It's really not a sneaky mission in the slightest. Episode 424, let's go. Yeah! <laughs> Do we actually lift him? Oh, wait, dude. Okay, Buggy's got a lot a lot cleaner with his uh his moves. It seems like he's more comfortable now. I think it's been so long since we've seen him. This guy's a, dude, I always thought he was way more OP than like I mean he was really strong for someone that we met really early on in the show. But he's so goofy that it like goes hand in hand and you don't really expect that much from him. But it's a strong devil fruit. Now he sees how strong Luffy's gotten. Damn like time like stopped, bro. What even are these things? <laughs> yeah, for real. That's what I was saying last episode. Blue gorilla. Oh, blue gurry. He took all of them down. Buggy's got this rude awakening of how strong Luffy's gotten. Actually, these guys might not know who Luffy is because they've been in prison for a de decent amount of time. They're going to start sending a lot down there. I wonder if they're going to run into like Boa and all of them at the same time. Oh, he's, here's his plan now. Actually, wouldn't Buggy help him? Oh, wait, Buggy's not first. It was from Shanks. Well, Buggy did meet Ace. Maybe he would help. Your brother was very polite. Oh, so he does kind of respect him. Luffy's polite. I mean, kind of. I don't know. And he was just sitting there. <laughs> I love how Ace just was ready to give him up, too. Because he knows Luffy's strong. Ace's face, bro. That line, if he had said, you know my father, if he had said that line at that episode, I would have been so confused. I would have been like, Whitebeard is, is Luffy's dad. Oh, you're not going to help? No, nah, I understand, bro. Level five. That's going to be insanely hard to get to. True. Actually true. They'll need firepower. Literal firepower. Is Whitebeard planning on attacking the prison? Or are they just doing it just in case? What? The armband? That's the armband he got from the ship on, on Thriller Bark. Or from Thriller Bark. What? Wait, there's a significance to it? A beautiful armlet. Huh? Is it like valuable? Luffy, get the information first, man. Hold on to my feet. He's just flying! <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, he can fly, but it's just like he's moving his body parts around. Trouble only in limited area. Oh, okay. So if he doesn't have his feet, he can literally fly. Dude, that's what I'm saying. The power's strong. What is the armband? That's what he was looking for? What? Did they say like Captain John's treasure or something? Someone's treasure? Yeah, Captain John. Look at me. The armband is his treasure? Yeah, it was in the pile of treasure from Thor Bark, and Nami said that Luffy could have it. I'm pretty sure. I was wondering why he still added on. It seemed like a throwaway line. <laughs> Caught in the Navy Blues while I walked in by mistake. And that's how he got here? My goodness. But what's the sign? Is it just worth a lot? That is so funny how he's flying, man. You gotta go to two before three, before four, before five. Okay. Wait, so it goes lower than five? What would be more than the hundred million bounty pirate down there? It seems like they can keep the worst of the worst in five. Or maybe he's just saying they don't like know how many fours are beyond five or more. That's why there's a question mark. I mean, maybe it wouldn't be pirates. It would, yeah, like monsters. Wait, they would keep Ace like lower than five? Oh, shut up, Buggy. <laughs> oh, the arm what tells him where the treasure is. I don't think Luffy cares, man. <laughs> True. Was he not paying attention or does he not care? Yeah, he, he just doesn't care. What's the big deal about Captain John's treasure, man? He's just ready to give it to him. And you said Luffy wasn't polite. And how does he know that this armband is it? Surely you wouldn't be a bad guy like that, Buggy. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I like you, Buggy. 
Yoinks it? What a random plot line. Rip the armband, I guess. He's like, I'll be a better man. There's no way he's not actually gonna lead him. <laughs> oh, follow your lead, buggies. Oh, they're in like a control. Oh wait, this might be like the security room. Well, people say it. Not, not, there's nothing that's insignificant about this little details in One Piece. At least that's what I hear. This vice warden is huge, bro. I want to meet the warden warden. Magellan, Magellan. There's not as much security as I thought there'd be, but we also haven't gone to the lower levels. It'll probably get stronger and stronger as they get lower. The music, man. Oh, wait, I thought she was, someone was saying her name. She was genuinely hearing it. At least we get a look into the further levels down uh, from their POV. This seems like a lot lower than five. The voice in my heart. He's like, I won. Yeah. <laughs> Bazed. <laughs> oh, but he's saying what we're all thinking. Meanwhile, on level one, I think they're still on level one. It kind of looks like they're fighting. This guy's capturing Buggy for us. Oh my gosh. Oh wait, Crimson. It's like a forest. How are these trees grow? Oh wait, they're not trees. They're spikes. Are they harvesting? Blade trees? Do they have the prisoners work? Oh my gosh! Run around the forest and get caught. Dog! This is level one! This place is actually hell. Oh my god. No, for real. I can't even imagine what they did to Ace, man. We know they, they, they tortured him, but if this is level one, what are they doing to my boy Crocodile? Are, are you sure when that hurt? His little shoes. I guess it would be fine for Buggy. <laughs> Dude, this power is so convenient. Oh, it's just a hole. Do people get like thrown down there? Because you go to floor two. Okay. And then it's even more escapable from there. Luffy's got like an optimistic attitude, but this is kind of disastrous. He just jumped! Luffy, there could be anything at the bottom! Oh, on to floor two. You gotta go, Buggy. Keep your promise. Oh, no. Surely not. Have some honor, Buggy. Come on, man. No. No! Either way, you're a goner. Oh, I thought I was about to knock him in. Wait, his body. So very deserved. I'm sorry, Buggy. His feet are off the ground. He can't control it. He's got whatever fate Luffy has. At least his body does. I love this music, bro. <laughs> Oh, if it gets too far away, it starts hurt. Oh, okay, I see. I was wondering. All right, time to see what level two looks like. Wait, what did they say happens on two? Oh, the monsters. The monster floor. Oh, lovely. Four of wild beasts from hell. This seems like the scariest floor. Who are these? Wait, these look like dudes. Oh, wait, no, his face looks kind of... Oh, wait. Mr. Three! Ain't no way he's down here. Is he in the beast from hell floor? Oh my gosh, dude. I was wondering what other random faces would pop up. I did not even remotely think about him. Mr. Goddamn three. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even remember what happened to the end of him. I thought, didn't he get eaten by like crocodiles crocodile? I thought, cause he came back, tried to ask like, uh, for, like for his spot back and then crocodile threw him in the thing and he got eaten, right? Was that not the last? I thought that was the last we saw of him. Either way, how is he here? And why is he on the wild beast level? Unless that was just showing that, that he was on like level three or four but I, I don't imagine his bounty being that huge i mean yeah he was a part of crocodile's crew but either way impel down is a journey so far luffy reuniting with buggy them having this adventure is kind of a, a, a cool duo they bounce off of each other their goofiness and we know buggy's pov and how he doesn't have like any underlying intentions he's just goofy and yeah he tried to betray him and leave but he's just one of those characters where you feel like more comfortable when he's there because he is so goofy but dude i love seeing more and more of impel down and figuring out more about it. It's cool. Guys, that's been it for episodes 423 and 424 of our One Piece watch through. Drop a like on the video if you have not already, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace, peace.